Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Catalan Studio video series. And today we'll be talking about working with API testing in Catalan Studio for delete operation. So the objective of this video is to create and delete request to our existing MyJSON server and verify if the existing data has been deleted completely. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to Catalan Studio. Alright, so this is our same project which we have been working so long in our course and what we did in our previous couple of videos is we created a get request, post request and put request and these were the code that we were working so far. And now we are going to do a delete request. So once again, as usual, we are going to create a uh, web service request from the object repository and we're going to call this as a delete. So it's going to be delete and hit OK right and I'm going to change the request type from get to delete and the URL is once again going to be the same URL that we used earlier so I'm just going to copy that I'm going to paste it over here and I'm going to save it and as usual for the delete if you're going to see in the postman here so you can just go over here and just change this to maybe delete right and you don't really have to pass any body because delete doesn't require a body at all even you can see here in Catalan, it says delete method does not require any body content. So that's exactly it is. So I don't really have to pass any body here. And if I send this, you can see that the status is 200 OK, which means it has been deleted. And now if I go back to our application, you can see currently we have three here as an ID. And if I refresh this, it becomes two, which means it has been deleted from our system. That easy it is, right? So that's exactly what we're going to do from our Catalan Studio this time. So what I'm going to do is this. Uh, let me create some uh, uh, post from our postman here, maybe because we are lack of data. So I'm just going to create uh, two or three values, maybe. We have a couple of datas here. That's cool. So I'm just going to delete this value from uh, the Catalan Studio this time. So I will go all the way here to the test case once again. And then I'm going to create a new test case, pretty much same like how we did earlier. And this time I'm just going to create a, a test case, something like verify delete and hit OK. There you go. It's all good. And now I'm just going to copy paste exactly the same code that we used for our put. That's really easy for me. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go to the script and I'm going to paste it over here. That easy it is. So I'm just going to save that. And once again, as I said, for the delete, we're going to use the delete uh, test object. And we don't really require a body here. So I'm just going to remove that here. And these things are going to be always the same one. So this doesn't require, this doesn't require as well. And just that we have to use the uh, URL here for the post ID. So once again, we require this post ID because we need to pass the ID uh, for deleting it. So I'm just going to use that and maybe I will just go back to the delete and I will just add this particular uh, attribute maybe. And if I go back here, that's it. So that's the easy code here. And then if I try to get the response, I should not see any value. Right. So verify if the element value of this particular title is going to be nothing. Right. So there is no title at all, even if you try to uh, get that particular value. So maybe this time the verify is something like response status code and the result is going to be here. And the status code that we're going to expect is I guess it's 200. So if I go to the postman for the delete. Uh, so while we are trying to delete it, uh, we got the response as 200 OK. So I'm just going to use this 200. So since we have deleted the three, maybe I'm going to use four this time for deleting it. And uh, this particular value is going to be four as well. Just going to save it. All good now. And now let's try to execute this code and see how it works. So I'm just going to run this test. So you can see we are trying to delete this in the post ID and the test card passed, which is cool. So the response is already 200 OK 
and it seems like everything is deleted and now if you see number three we deleted from the postman number four we deleted from our catalan studio so now if i refresh i should see id one and two so if i refresh this we can see only we have one and two which means the delete operation is working fine as expected so if you don't believe me if i maybe let's put two here save it and if i try to run this again you can see it has been deleted and now if i try to refresh edge browser you can see it has only one value so the two has also been deleted and the response code was 200 that's cool so this is how we can perform the put post get and delete operation using catalan studio so that's it guys this is the api testing with catalan studio so once again thank you very much for watching this course and have a great day